Hey guys, welcome to BTEC. Now, before I get into what you see in front of you, subscribe to the channel. Subscribing helps us out massively, and it means you stay on top of everything that we do. Now back to smart things. These are the Samsung Smart Things Starter Kit Plus Camera Combination, available from 199 pounds here in the UK for the Starter Kit, and the camera can be bought separately. We're gonna be unboxing this and comparing the whole system against a few other alternatives in the coming weeks. You've got the Canary from Amazon, and you've also also got the Arlo from Netgear. As for the Samsung Smart Things Starter Kit, it's a little bit more of a connected home thing than the other two. They're more security monitoring, which is exactly why we've got the camera here. This is a combination of a smart sen motion sensor. You've also got a multi sensor, so it can do things like tell you when a door's opened, etc. Power outlet and a presence sensor, so it can detect motion. But it's really all about this hub. Samsung has actually created a new standard with that smart things and a load of devices can connect to it whether it's a entertainment system from whoever or you can get d-link cameras as well as Samsung cameras that can connect to it so that's the appeal of the smart things I'm gonna bring it in closer and as is custom with any unboxing video we'll take a closer look around the box and you can see you've just got a very clear illustration of what you get inside on the front on the right hand side you've got a few situations where you could use certain things so you can control the lights have camera monitoring you can detect moisture if there's a leak or anything under the sink um, around the back you've got a little bit more hard and fast information discover ways to use your samsung smart things hub at uh, smartthings.com also see exactly what's included bringing it closer that includes the smart things hub ethernet cable power cable quick start guide warranty presence motion outlet multi uh, detector and batteries as well it's compatible with ios and android um, and it has all the simple things like system requirements but that's a real key there love the side from an outdoor perspective it shows you how you could implement the system and you've got this thing up the top um, that just indicates again exactly how you can connect everything. We can peel this away. Are we going the wrong way? That's the wrong way. So there you go. And it unveils the smart thing. So a neat little presentation factor there. We can, ah, cool, slide it open like so. And whoops, that didn't sound good. Hopefully nothing broke, but more to the point, this is the hub. Simple enough, looks like a router or something along those lines, kind of like a plastic Apple TV. Around the back, you can see you've got ethernet, two USB ports, um, and you've also got a power um, AC connector as well. It's worth noting this does have its own memory, so even if you did end up going offline for a little bit, um, you would potentially still be able to record elements. What's also really cool about it is the fact you can connect virtually countless number of devices to this, but um, it's limited only as far as the HD security cameras go and it can take up to four full HD video feeds. So there's this kind of velour material around here. I can pull it out. Hopefully nothing else will fall out. In fact, this is the exact wrong way of doing it, but I'm gonna carry on doing it anyway. Start as you mean to go on right. Um, you can see here you've just got a quick start guide. It also feels or looks like there's maybe a CD in there or something, or maybe that's a little bit too old fashioned. No, nope, it's just papers. So you've got a quick start guide here. Just shows you um, how to set it all up for first use. You've also got a guide for each of the elements. Obviously the starter kit has multiple components which I'll walk through in a short while. Um, which you can actually buy separately. So uh, you can add new elements to the starter kit as you go on. Um, so you've also got <clears throat> power connector, um, a range of batteries um, and that ethernet cable as well. So putting that to one side, we can actually take a look inside the other window, leaning it back a little bit so nothing flies out this time. You can see this um, looks, whoops, dropping it all the way. Uh, this looks like the uh, um, presence detector. So that's a motion detector. Can bring it closer, flip around, and you can in fact see it says smart things. Um, if you remove, then it, that starts the pairing process. Can it come apart? I'm not gonna try and pull it apart just yet in fear of breaking it. Um, you can also see the smart things power connector. So this will activate, meaning you can, um, when you connect it to the app, so you can control the power from your smartphone. Um, you've also got the um, multi, or this is actually the smart sense motion detector even. So that ball tracks motion. And finally the multi point detector. So 
if a door is opening or closing, these attach, detach uh, cupboard door, whatever it is, then you will get an alert if you set that to be the case. Um, can put everything to one side and take a look behind that. Um, aside from nails for securing everything, I believe that is the basic starter kit expunged. Um, now I'll put that all to one side, clear up this mess in a bit, but before I do, let's take a look at the camera. So this is the official camera, connects via Wi-Fi direct, as it so clearly states on the front right there, um, and plugs into a wall, has a direct ethernet in by the looks of things as well, an audio out um, and power connector, rotates, swivels, pivots, no, no pivots, uh, but yeah, ultimately uh, looks like, um, ah, there you go, you can even rotate at the base. Ultimately, it looks like it would do a decent job, um, but obviously being an unboxing video of something we can't actually turn on, you're gonna have to wait for our overarching comparison with all of these and the Canary and the Netgear Arlo before we give you anything too conclusive. Um, inside you've also got power um, and uh, that is about it, as well as this Ethernet cable to keep everything connected in case your Wi-Fi just ain't up to the job. So that's been the Smart Things Starter Kit. Hopefully you've enjoyed it and found it useful. If you've got any questions, have you used the Smart Things ecosystem before? Have any comments? Just fire them below. Make sure if you do like the video, click that thumbs up button. And if you like BTEC, subscribe. That's how you're going to stay on top of everything we do. And obviously, subscribing helps us out massively. Thanks for watching.